the Virtual Pulse Cross Project is an effort to recreate two hours of time in London in the early 17th century in a particular place. The sermon was delivered every Sunday between 10 and 12 uh, and some days during the week. The sermon that we're modeling is actually for, was delivered on Tuesday because it had to be delivered on November the 5th, Gunpowder Day. What we're trying to do is to create as multidimensional an experience as we possibly can, at least to give the flavor of what it was like to be there and hear one of these sermons. Well, to put together the simulation, it's been a really layered process that includes a whole transatlantic team of participants. Uh, so we began here in Raleigh actually putting together a couple of models, one a visual model and one a digital audio model. Uh, and so we're working with very little evidence because it, it's old St. Paul's, by the way, because it burned down. There's new St. Paul's, and if you go there today, you can see new St. Paul's built over top of portions of old St. Paul's. So the evidence we, we have for the models include things like uh, archaeological surveys, engravings, uh, the Gipkin painting, but very few things exist from the era of the church that give us a real accurate portrayal. So architects are now able to design buildings in a computer and then evaluate the sound, how sound will behave in the building. They are able to do this for buildings that do not yet exist, buildings that are still in the process of design. So if you can do that for a building that doesn't exist yet, you can also do it for a building that used to exist but doesn't exist anymore. So we've put together all of these different resources and the two models that we've made. One, the visual model is there to give really strong detail of what the space would look like, uh, what the materials look like, their textures, uh, and with those models, we're actually able to even simulate what the weather conditions and atmosphere might be like in the churchyard. Now, with the audio model, it's a different story. The audio model is actually a, a much reduced model that gives us the geometry of the space, but also it, it allows us to assign material characteristics to the walls so that we know how reflective they were and how absorptive they were in, ter in terms of sound. With that kind of data, the acoustic engineers we've worked with have been able to create a highly accurate model of how sound behaved in Paul's churchyard in 1622. While we're putting together these models here in Raleigh, uh, we had audio recordings in anechoic chambers going on in England. And uh, Ben Crystal, who's a really well-known Shakespearean actor, recorded the sermon for us there. And so the two things come together, the model and the sound recordings in Boston, back to the U.S. for this part, where uh, engineers, sound engineers at a Syntec in Boston put these two things together. And so they can actually project the recording, the sound recording, into the virtual three-dimensional space of the model. And again, we get this accurate portrayal of what it might have sounded like. This project transforms teaching because it enables us to explore with our students a sermon as an experience that unfolds in real time, not simply a printed essay on a page.